good day all i am tushil deepa today i will guide you a brief introduction to the server port and here you can see in my channel please stay with my channel and you can get many knowledge tutorials regarding flutter and machine learning biometric authentication and also a guide to flutter interview questions also let's move on to the today's server port lesson in here basically i was describing what is server port and what you should have should have installed for getting the getting the benefit of the server port and also in here i will describe the demo project and also and also the how to connect with the api via postman and also the communicate the server port the api via the flutter app internally in here let's move on to the server port in here server port is a open source a scalable app server written in dart for flutter community and the special thing is the server port automatically generate your protocol and client side port by analyzing your server and also you can call the remote endpoint is using the local method call i will describe this throughout the this video please watch it don't skip to skip the video you will get some doubts doubts in the uh, doubt in the server port when you moving forward let's get started in here before installing the server port you should install you should have dart version 3.0 later you can say uh, you can check the your dart version using the flutter doctor command in here you will see the flutter version is 3.7.7 so i can continue with this step and also before that you should install the docker because docker is used to manage the postgres and redis so you can get the docker using the official site you can download using the windows mac and linux after that configure configurations done basic prerequisites done so this is done so after that let's move on to the creating of the demo project after completing previous step you should run this command and activate the server for cli in here use your cmd and copy and run this command it will download and install the requirements and also it will take little bit time okay this is the server port cli version 1 after that when you want to verify please run server port on cmd this will generate this kind of code because this server port is uh, officially not support to windows but it is work on windows so no error occurs after that we can move on to the other part to create the first project first of all you need to copy the this command server port create your project name go to your terminal and terminal or the location you want to create the project as and in my case this and uh, hit the cmd and in here you can run this code server port create demo server port after that a set of commands and the dependencies will be downloaded and configured in here after successfully completed the without any errors you can see some folders created let's move on to what are those folders and what they denotes you can see demo server plot client flutter server this is the your project name in here server means the you can see the in the documentation this is the server side code it is a project using the flutter framework and also it is add the new endpoints to the other features of your server needs and also the client is the bridge between the your flutter app and the server you can uh, understand this clearly in the 
later after describing the describing in this video and also client code is needed to communicate with the server as i mentioned this is a bridge between the flutter app and the server typically all the code in this package is generated automatically and you don't want to edit this package and also the flutter is the is the flutter app pre-configured to connect to your local server let's move on to the after that your project is successfully created in here you can see so after that to run the server you should open the server project in here this is a flutter project you should open in your favorite editor after that you should follow these steps before that you should start your docker docker desktop should be start and also you should double click on the docker desktop and it will start after that you should run these commands this command is very important please use this command by step by step don't misuse any step so this will not work after that go to the your server folder as i mentioned i am i am in this server folder you can see it is i am in this server folder you can see this i am in this server folder after that you should run this setup table cmd this will generate the tables for the database after that you should run docker compose up build detach and this will create the docker containers as seen in this after that you should run the server using the dart bin main dot dart run it in terminal in here your server will be created successfully if you found any errors please mention in the video description i will help to solve it you can see the in their documentation notes this is the steps but it missed this step because it is not not officially supported so you should manually set up the tables for the db this is the important point keep in mind when you are uh, running your demo project after that you, after that successfully completed you can you can see your insights are run on port 1881 and also the your server is run on port 88 and also web server is written port 8082 in here you can use the local of port 8080 as like this it is okay it is working let's move on to the code base and get some uh, deep deeper knowledge this is the demo server server project in here you can see there are many file structures endpoints means the this is the api endpoints which we denote in our app as an example the demo project in here each endpoint should be extend with the endpoint class and also in the cinema it is a convention use endpoint in the class you declare and also the method is the hello hello method uh, this will be described later in this uh, video after using a postman and also the how we use it in the using the flutter app and also you can see this is a future call you should use async when we use in the flutter app first uh, let's move on to the our drawback in here this part is also done let's use how if we using we, we using only the server can we use in other apis other other projects using this api so sure we can use this api for any other projects using the website that was created using react angular like that then how will we use that after deploying we should call the api in the post api using this technique so i will guide you using example using the postman the method is the hello this is an example so so the in a postman this is a get request so we should add params method and name 
method is the method is the hello and also the class name the parameter will be the name in this case you can see name is the parameter method is the hello and also the endpoint is the example in here you can see i will delete this this is the endpoint you can see in here i will type method is hello and name is test flutter support api after that send it you can see the return api response this is a json response you can see json response as well as so we return the string with the hello and the income from the parameter name this this is the way we can check the api using the postman api if you are developing let's move on to the next part how to communicate server pod api via inside the flutter app so you can easily call it you can see here the demo server pod flutter is the flutter app we use to communicate the server pod api so open the flutter project using your editor in here this is my project so in here you can see in here i will guide you why i this is the original code http localhost 8080 because it is running we have checked in the postman and also in the browser it is also working if you are running emulator you should change this port according to your wifi connection or the ip config protocol in here because the emulator uses different different scenario in here this is if you want to skip this please skip if you run on a real device in here settings go to proxy and get the your ip ip connected to the internet in here you can get it using the ip config ip config command in here you run the cmd and ip config in here i am connected to the wi-fi so i get the ip version for address and it is placed uh, in the manual config proxy configuration in the android emulator host name should be that and also port number be with the uh, api port number and also to communicate the local host uh, api run on the server port we should change this to this port number this will communicate with the server port api after running the api you can see this is the server port demo example in here you can see they are uh, first of all you need to create the client and also the after that when the button is pressed in this scenario we get the client dot example example means the the this is the example means the endpoint we have declared in the client dot dot this is auto auto generated code do not edit it if you don't want so in here when we move out to the server port this is the example this is the auto generated code in the client dot client project this is the demo server port client the project which was created automatically when you create in the server in here you can see that this is the endpoint name so we use the this to in the flutter app using the client dot example the method name as we use in the postman api call and also we use the text editing control text and it will denote this message in this bar as an example let's verify it send to serve you can see the responses received and the hello test api my name that's the basic introduction to the server pod api there are many functionalities in the server pod api so i will grab those in, in a similar uh, 
uh, video using the server port playlist API. So you can get more knowledge using the documentation. If you face any uh, problems during this uh, tutorial uh, when you are doing along, please let me know and list it on the video comment. I will uh, solve as, as soon as possible. So stay with the channel and subscribe and stay with the channel. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am Prasidhiba. Thank you.